Place value is very important in all aspects of maths and using the number system effectively. Think of the impact when working with money. Could you imagine accidentally transferring a thousand pounds to a friend instead of a hundred pounds? The position of a digit in a number tells you its place value. It helps us to understand that 582 is made up of 500, 80 and 2. The highest value is on the left. The columns stand for hundreds, tens and units. The numbers 1 to 9 are classed as units or ones. For larger numbers, we need to go into the next column, the tens, then into the hundreds, then thousands and so on. Every time we want to show a bigger number, we add a column to the left and it is always 10 times larger than the column on the right. Decimal numbers are those that are more than zero but are smaller than one. They are always displayed on the right hand side of the decimal point. After the decimal point, we can continue to add columns to the right for ever smaller numbers, tenths, hundredths, thousandths and so on. In this example, the value of one is 100, the two in the tens column is 20, there are three ones, four tenths, five hundred and six thousandths. As you move one column to the right, everything is ten times smaller. An integer is a number which is not a fraction, it's a whole number. Let's think of them on a number line. Integers can be both positive and negative whole numbers. When we apply the basic operations to them, it's easy to become confused, but using the number line and knowing some useful rules can help us get it right. Negative numbers are less than zero and they are always accompanied by a minus sign. Positive numbers can be shown with a plus sign, but generally, if neither sign is displayed, it's assumed the value is positive. We use negative numbers every day. Freezers use negative numbers to show the temperature is less than zero. Lifts use them for floors below ground level and your bank account shows any money taken out and overdrafts as negative numbers. You can count places on a number line to help with calculations involving negative numbers. Let's look at the rules about adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing negative integers. When adding a negative number, it is the same as subtracting a positive number. Plus next to minus means subtract. For example, if you have £10 in your bank account and you buy something for £12, your bank balance would be minus £2. Here's another example. When subtracting a negative number, it's the same as adding a positive number. Think about your bank account again. If you have £10 in your account and your bank refunds a negative transaction from it, they're adding that back on. Minus next to minus means add. Here's another example. What about if you had a bank balance of minus £357.82 and your employer puts your pay of £1,200 in? Your rent, insurance and phone bills come out. How much would you have left per day until the next payday without going into your overdraft? When you multiply or divide two numbers with the same sign, the answer is always positive. When you multiply or divide numbers with opposite signs, the answer is always negative. In summary, the position of a digit in a number has great effect on the value of that digit and always pay attention to the signs of a number.